Andy Murray admitted that his children were not too bothered about his Nottingham Open triumph after overcoming Arthur Cazzo in Sunday's final. Andy Murray won a title in front of his family for the first time on Father's Day, and then revealed his young children were more interested in going to McDonald's. The former world number one continued his strong build-up to Wimbledon with a second grass court title and a week at the Rothesay Open in Nottingham. Speaking after lifting the trophy, Murray said he wanted to get home to see my kids before bedtime. But the Scot was then stunned to see his wife Kim and all four of their children, Sophia, Eddie, Teddy and Lola, were in the crowd at the Nottingham Tennis Center. An emotional Murray had to compose himself before admitting, Oh my God! I didn't know they were here. I had no idea they were coming. They came last week to the final at Surbiton and it started raining and they had to go home because it was bedtime. They missed the end of the match. But, they're all here, thanks guys. I don't know what else to say. But Murray, 36, later admitted, After I had kids, I was motivated to keep playing so they could watch me when I was older, but they are not really that interested. I thought they might be but they are not. It is really nice for them to come. I have loved having them come and watch today, but I realize for them, they are more interested in other things. But it was still nice because they have not been to Wimbledon, they came to Queens when I played doubles there, but they have not been around it at all. They are more interested in when we are going to McDonald's after the match. Murray will now mount his final bid to secure a Wimbledon seating at the Cinch Championships at Queens Club this week. The Scott beat French world number 181 Arthur Cazzo 6-4, 6-4 in the final to win the Challenger event without dropping a set. But Murray has lost his last five ATP Tour-level matches starting with his loss to Jack Draper at the Miami Masters in March. Yet his ploy to gain valuable match time on the second-tier Challenger Tour has seen him win events in XN Provence on clay last month and Surbiton last week. His provisional ranking is now inside the world's top 40 with the top 32 guaranteed a seating at the Grasscourt Grand Slam on July 3rd. Queen's Club will be his final attempt to climb up the rankings before the seatings are confirmed on Wednesday, June 28th. He faces Aussie Alex de Menor who beat the Scott in Monte Carlo earlier this season and at the 0-2 last September.